Hey folks, how are we doing? Now as you can see I've got uh, my trailer out. First time, well I don't know, since I've put it up there I suppose. Um, not the best of days but um, I fancy you know, making a bit of a start with it today. I've been you know, between milking so that's what I'm going to do. Put the T7 on the front providing air because the last track is still in bits at the minute. But it's making progress as um, you hopefully have seen. If not, go check out the video, um, the fast track update video. Say hello to Reggie. Reggie Boo. Reggie Boo. Reggie Boo. Good old Reggie boy. He's going to watch us. Um, so what I'm thinking today, uh, I want to get measured up for the headboard. I've got obviously I've got the steel for that. I've got all the steel for that. So get the get that made or get it at least or cut and that sort of thing. Um, my end of the day is sort of see if I can get the cutting done because I've only got a few hours to do it. Lot. Um, cut this um, caravan toe in itch on the back lot. So cut all that off, cut that off just so I've got literally that bumper there. I'll do away with all that um, crap there lot because I don't plan on towing anything behind this, fairly obviously. So it's cut that off and um, I'll say get the steel cut uh, for the head wall for this. Then once that's done, um, I can then cut that off, and then because that's gonna, I'm doing away with all that crap. That's gonna then come off um, the Susie carry off the front of the headboard, probably to a very similar position, but it's gonna come off the front of the headboard rather than all that sort of malarkey. So uh, anyway, let's get cracking. Right, so I've been going through some headboard designs and what I was thinking initially was I was going to be quite you know fancy with it but I was going to come up I'm going to have a two foot headboard basically that's as high as I want to go solid um, so I was going to come up say a foot and a half and then have a 45 going in just so it cranks it in a bit then you've got the top a bit of three inch goes along the top and then the same on the other side but I thought that's not entirely practical so what I thought I'm going to do actually well what I am going to do I'm going to cut the bits of uh, three inch, it's all going to be made out of this three inch. I'm going to cut that out of two foot and I'm going to leave the holes exposed top wise. Because then if I want, I can then at a later date put a, you know, a rave on the front. Because uh, I've got the socket there you see, so that's you know, a lot more sense. So that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to go two foot high, a post either side, leave the holes exposed. Just put a drain hole in the bottom so you know, water will come out. Well I suppose I could get the plastic caps can I um, but then yeah then we're just gonna have a cross member in between and then I've got the uh, steel checker that's gonna be the infill because I do like a solid one so that'll be the infill and then like I say if I've got the socket holes pointing up it's just a case of building a, a little frame to slot in if I want to um, if I want to rave on the front so that's what we're going to do, and it does make it a lot easier as well to build and cut, so um, mine got a lot of 45 degree cuts, so I'll measure the first one, let's get cutting. Right, that's one cut. I have got a bandsaw, but considering this is three metres long, I thought it's just as easy just to get the big grinder out and uh, cut it with that rather than try and lug it round. And I can cut pretty straight with a grinder, can you see? That is pretty damn straight. It's all about measuring, isn't it, look? Right, one down, one to go. So I've got all the three inch box cut. Got this bit squared up, ready to just uh, tack it together. I'll tack it, tack it together in this position. Uh, then we'll roll it up and we'll stick it to the trailer. Right, so we've got the frame all tacked on now. Next job is offer up the um, checker plate, get that clamped on here, and um, then get that tacked on as well. And then once that's all done, make sure it's all good and seam it all up. We're getting somewhere. Right, we're getting somewhere now. Frame is all welded in properly. Um, done probably about two hours of cleaning it's one of the most laborious jobs but you've got to do it if you want a decent weld you've got to clean it well isn't it? so I was, yeah literally cleaned all that cleaned the um, a bit of checker up so that's all clamped well 
sort of clamped in, ready to make the way across because it's a bit floppy. Um, when they cut it, you know, it's got a bit hot, so it got a bit of a bow on it. But uh, what I do, start here and then just work my way along um, inside and out. And uh, we'll have a headboard, won't we? Let's crack on. Right, I've got a headboard. Finally, that's took some welding. A lot of um, a lot of welding there. <sighs> yeah, so all I've got to do now is just trim these, trim the checker up all the way around. But uh, yeah, that looks that looks a treat. Well, we'll do when it's all painted up, won't it? But that's a lot better. Um, so I've just got to finish that corner the other side um, well that little bit there obviously have all this off I might because we've got quite a short drawbar on this I might see what it's like with just mounting that on the headboard just there it's not a great distance to, you know Susie wise like that's what you've got to think of um, is it going to be too long for your Susie but I don't think it will so uh, that would be nice and clean, just mounted on there, lot. So we will, uh, we will see. Um, but uh, yeah, no, looking, looking a lot better, I reckon. Yeah, it looks alright, doesn't it? So anyway, it's what's it about half six now, I think something like that. What time is it? Bear in mind, I've been out all day. 20 past 6, got to go, I've got to pack everything, pack the welder up and everything. Get rid of the trailer again, park the tractor up, park the loader up. Um, then go and uh, have some tea. I'm thinking Burger King and KFC um, tonight. You can't have just one burger, can you? It's normally, Burger King is normally a um, uh, large double whopper meal. And then KFC tends to be uh, a fillet tower burger, a mini fillet, and then um, either a small uh, boneless box or a small um, leg box, you know what I mean, with the bones in lot. And uh, that's normally quite nice, not quite nice. So Anyway, I want to crack on. I hope you enjoyed that vid. Um, I'll catch on the next one and uh, hopefully we'll get you know, a bit more progress done on this trailer. Get it uh, ready so that uh, applied concepts can come and shop last so she will look a treat. Ta-ta!